Hi everyone, I'm doing my presentation today on Linda Bove. Um, she was a deaf American actress who performed as Linda on the PBS kids show Sesame Street from 1971 to 2002. Um, she is still alive to this day. She is 75 years old and she was mainly known again for playing Linda the Librarian on Sesame Street. So to start with her childhood, um, she was born by two deaf parents, so it was no surprise that she was going to be born deaf. Um, she attended St. Joseph's School of the Deaf in the Bronx, New York, and she also attended um, Marie Katzenbach School for the Deaf in Trenton, New Jersey. Um, from there, she graduated in 1963. Um, she went on to the Gallaudet University to study theater. That's where her primary interest in theater began. Um, her senior year, she actually studied at a summer school program at the National Theater for the Deaf. And in 1970, at that program, she met her husband, Ed Waterstreet, who is also another deaf actor. Um, they met working together at the same summer school program, and I thought that was really cute. So, her career. So, television was a primary career for her, and she appeared um, on an episode of Happy Days as Allison. Um, she also performed on a soap opera, The Search for Tomorrow. Um, her main role, though, was on Sesame Street. That's where most people know her from. Um, she was the first deaf performer on that show. She helped millions of children uh, get introduced to sign language and um, let them know that it's nothing to be ashamed about. Being deaf is nothing to be ashamed about. Um, she wanted to make sure that being deaf and um, having ASL and using sign language is just not something you should discriminate about and something that everyday people should learn. Um, in 2019, she actually made the 50th anniversary celebration where she came back to Sesame Street to revisit the show. So for deaf theater, she was also again into theater as she studied in college. Um, in the 1970s, Linda and some others started the Little Theater of the Deaf to help draw in some people to learn about the culture. Um, they actually went on a 30,000 mile word world tour, which I thought that blew my mind. Um, their biggest performance was in Japan and they were attended by a royal family and they were asked to go on a TV show. I thought that was mesmerizing, just going on a 30,000 mile tour. That's crazy. Um, one of her biggest collaborations in 1980 um, her and Sesame Street, um, combined, uh, with the National Theater of the Deaf, and they made a book called Sign Language Fun with Linda Bove, and, um, it made sign language look semi-interesting and not as boring as some people make it out to be, which is awful. So, Linda got a lot of rewards. So, she got an award in 1974 from AMITA, it's an Italian-American women's organization, for her work in TV. Um, also, in 1991, she received an honorary degree from Gallaudet University. Another one she got is in 1992, she received the Bernard Bragg Artistic Achievement. And her final reward on July 3rd, 2012, she was given the Media Ad Ad advocacy award for her success in advancing the civil human and linguistic rights of the american deaf and hard hearing community through the use of media and social network she was also a very she was very known in filmography um she's been in a total of 14 films including sesame street including all of the little films that she was featured in um there's other films she starred in and i made a link in my presentation that shows a whole chart of all of those films. So some fun facts about her, um, for 20 years she played Linda the Librarian and she has won the title for the longest running role on American television 
with a differing ability. So she's the longest running deaf person to be on American television for over 20 years. Um, she guest starred on Happy Days with Ron Howard in 1980. I thought that was pretty interesting. And she also had a television role on Weeds, like the TV show Weeds in 2010. So in conclusion, Linda Bove was known for her role as playing Linda the Librarian on Sesame Street and teaching millions of children sign language. She has won multiple awards for her acting and putting herself on the media like that. She is 75 years old and still alive to this day. In 2020, she's still alive. And she was also, again, born by two deaf parents, which it would be more of a surprise for her not to be deaf than for her to be deaf. But in conclusion, that is my presentation on Linda Bove, and I hope you all enjoyed.